Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 37. Okay, uh, the previous episode was really amazing. Uh, we saw a fight that is like Mosquito versus all of them. And it was pretty damn impressive. And Mosquito was unable to do anything. Like he got beaten up one-sidedly. And like that was something really satisfying to see. And uh, he ran away. Also, like Medusa kind of succeeded in her whole plan that she was like uh, making and uh, like like I'm thinking like Medusa is pretty what can I say intelligent and um, like strategic strategically does things and um, so yeah she like I have to admit like she is pretty what can I say a good villain like uh, her role as a villain for this uh, anime is uh, like uh, like done extremely well by her and the way she like tricks everyone and like slithers in like a snake just like a snake so yeah so she, like she's a good character and a good villain and like i have to say like hats off to the creators for that making a, a character like her and uh, and we got to see the whole combined uh soul resonance thing and uh like they became so powerful and like uh it's so easy like beat up um mosquito so and stan is suffering uh, like as always so let's see like a lot of things are happening at the same time so let's see what this episode brings so without further ado let's get started with episode number 37 of soul eater all right as always i'll be putting the spreads and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go Okay. These guys think they're tricking people. But they're like getting tricked instead by like Medusa. <laughs> like that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mosquito Moral man Moral manipulator Um okay Madness amplifier Yeah we should kick ass just like that Yeah Hotted as always. Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> okay. And yeah, oh my God, these guys are like uh, okay, oh my God, all right, well. Oh, if I see so many spiders at the same time, I'll freak out. Like, I really hate spiders. Like, cockroaches are nothing. Like, I can handle them. But spiders, oh my god. <laughs> like, you should run if you see so many spiders at the same place. <laughs> oh my god. All right. It's starting to get chilly over here like it was hot one day then suddenly it rained and from the next day it's like cold now 
What the hell is with the weather? Oh boy. <laughs> I, re I really like this opening, uh, like the first opening is definitely good, but I think I prefer this one, uh, like it has a more, I don't know, like the music is more to my taste, like this type of music. Okay. And here it is. Yes. Beat up an over the hill punching bag. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Anti ma yeah. Anti magic, not anti demon, didn't he say? And hmm. yeah, everyone's in a bad mood because obviously, like the mission failed technically. Mm, yep. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well. <laughs> this this girl. <laughs> what is she a cat or something? Like forgets things after like walking one or two steps. Oh, okay. Kid, uh, like, kid didn't even take uh, the Thompson sisters with him. So, yeah. Yeah, like Shinigami is a pretty passive guy, like Yeah, Avon and D E A Oh <laughs> Um What is happening? They're having a tea party? <laughs> how did, how does he drink like that? Like, he has a mask. What? <laughs> oh, he doesn't even know himself. So he's doing all of the things without even knowing the reason? Yes. <laughs> I 
Halo, halo. Ini kami sama. Oke. Okay. Genie Hunter? What's with the subtitles again? It was Witch Hunter, wasn't it? Oh! Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Kenyan branch. Okay, a new character or something? Oh my god, this guy is still continuing. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Uh, but still. Oh no. Oh boy, he's going to like report it to Medusa. Yeah, he's going to report. Oh, he's feeling guilty. Uh. Okay. Oh, he came to Stein's place. Like the original place that's... Oh, he still lives here. What am I saying? Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. 
He's she's continuously hallucinating. Everyone's greatest masterpiece, okay. Well, we got to know that previous in the previous episode. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, you're one of them, so... <laughs> But will he be able to do this? At, at that time he was playing the piano, so... Oh! Oh! Well, obviously, because he was like playing the piano pre previously. Like that was like the power lent to him by the demon. Yeah, that is also... Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Corona is watching them? Okay. Well, he's feeling guilty now, but whenever like Medusa comes in front of him, like everything goes out of his mind. He. Uh, my god, he like. He has spies in Arachne's place as well. Nope. How is this going to help that? Like what? Oh boy. Yeah. And that's the magic word. Well, whenever the magic words comes comes out, Corona won't be able to break out of his.
Mm. Is is so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. Oh, the trees, they look like vectors from Medusas. And that arrow as well. Wow. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Oh my god, okay, so we're going uh. Oh, Marie is here. It's a Okay, here we go. Who is it? Is this that guy who he was talking about? Job Butataki? Oh, Butataki, like beat, beat. Oh my god, yeah, we've seen this guy from the opening. He's one of those like closed eyes characters. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, so, um, well, obviously, like an organization like this uh, will definitely have some kind of like hidden things. Like, that is like if there's nothing like that, that is more like abnormal. Like, uh, like everything is not black and white, in like even if the like most noblest, um, like things. Uh, sometimes you have to do something for that like some bad stuff So like definitely an organization like this like Shibusen and uh, must have something like something uh, like going uh, like that's happening in the like shadows Who knows let's see like now the question is like Whatever is happening uh, behind everyone's back, is this something that is like, okay, it's the end. Uh, is it something that is like extremely bad or like, like I'm talking about the level of, um, like the level of, what can I say, like, 
what term would be appropriate in this sense like the level of things that are happening is it like something of uh like um i don't know like uh, you guys know you must know like uh, understand what i'm talking about like if it is like too much if whatever that is happening uh that is like of unsavory nature yeah that is uh kind of like a correct word i think in this situation like whatever uh that is happening like there must be something like uh it is like building up uh like too much like in one of the episodes of with the fisher we saw him say something about uh like uh, like little bits of hints were being dropped like which were insinuating that yeah uh, shivsen is not so much as uh like uh, uh white as it was like it being seen there must be some kind of a hidden shadow behind shivsen and like drop like hints like these were being dropped and uh in this episode as well like uh we like it is also like these kind of hints are being dropped that yeah mu- there must be something like uh stein said something about like um uh, you think that everything is uh, as good as it seems that's not the case so like uh so yeah the question is like the amount of unsavory things that are happening behind the scenes like how much is it that's the question here so and uh, so yeah uh, we'll probably get the answer sooner or later and uh, <coughs> okay so well, but uh, one thing like whatever is going happening i'm sure that uh, shinigami principal and like everyone has like uh, the whole shibutsen has the good in mind like they're probably doing something for the greater good i'm sure about that like these guys are good guys and i'm sure like that is not something that will change it's obviously like uh, i don't know if like there is something related to shinigami's past past or something like uh, we also like know that uh, shinigami uh, previously had been kind of a guy who like he had like a scary mask and he i we don't know anything about Shib- like shinigami's past but he seemed pretty um scary kind of like a scary dude and uh, pretty um serious kind of guy so now like he is more kind of like a jolly happy kind of character he like jokes around and like has a weird kind of mask which is like more uh, comedic in appearance uh, other than being like it's not scary at all so i'm guessing something must have happened in his past which kind of like changed him and he decides it to change so now he like wears the mask of a clown uh so that like he is uh like uh, so that he can be taken more lightly by the other people like other people do not get scared of him something like that so i'm guessing something must have happened in his past which kind of made him change and he probably like changed in his uh like uh, as, like uh, changed because of his own choice like he wanted to become like this like a funny kind of guy who like protects everyone like these are all my guesses and um yeah uh okay what else and <clears throat> okay so um this episode uh was all about uh the uh, like marker training and uh, them like talking about like uh, grieving about the fact that they lost the uh, brew and uh, at the beginning we kind of saw a little bit of squabble between uh, mosquito and the a chain so a chain guy and rakne is under the uh, impression that uh, his like what is happening like rakne is under the impression that uh, shivusen doesn't know about the whole uh, brew not being actually there and uh, like she wants to trick them like the shivusen uh, by like uh, making it seem as if like they had the brew and shibusen is really under the uh, like f- wrong inf- impression that uh, these guys like arachne uh, arachne has a brew and arachne is under the wrong impression that uh, the thing was actually uh, like like there is no brew like she is not like she does not know the actual brew is with medusa and medusa is like playing them like a fiddle and she is like controlling all of them indirectly now i don't know how she is going to like uh like move forward after this like i'm talking about medusa like how she is going to uh, like advance her plan or what her plan is i don't even know that so <clears throat> uh like she can pretty much uh, threaten 
um, both Arachne and Shibusen, like now where she is standing. But I doubt she's going to do that most probably because she would probably like hide the fact that she has a, like the brew and try to manipulate them more. And after like getting more favorable conditions, she would probably like put all the cards she has on her hand in front of them and like try to checkmate them all at once. Uh, somehow, something like that. Who knows? And um, and also the thing about Krona. So here's the thing: like Krona, even though she, he is feeling guilty about the whole fact of like Stang being uh, coming mad, and he knows that uh, he was the reason for Stang turning out like this. Like he uh, spiked the thing, uh, the drink that Madi drank, and uh, that drink is uh had that little snake kind of thing i don't know what that was but and it is like making stein more mad so he knows that and he's feeling guilty that is all well and good but the magic words that is medusa whenever like that thing comes uh in her in his ears he like comes like he changes suddenly like he was all feeling guilty and all like when then then when like elka said like medusa expects good things from you he suddenly like became rattled and all and i'm sure like if medusa talks to him he would like even if he gets this kind of a uh, thing like he thinks that no i should probably not do these things i should probably like confess my uh, doings in front of like in, in, like to the shibusen people to my friends and uh, like uh, i will not do uh, these kind of things behind everyone's back i'm their friend even if he thinks something like that if at that moment medusa comes in front of him and says that oh krona how are you or like uh, you're you've been a very good boy you are like bringing uh, information to me i have like uh, more expectations for you you're doing a good job if Menusa comes and says words like this, I'm sure he will again like go back to that brainwash kind of state uh, which Medusa put him into. So this is like the main problem. Like Medusa's words have a huge control over uh, Krona, and I'm sure like he, I doubt if he would be able to break up, like break out from that. I'm not sure. Like uh, Krona himself is kind of like a like a guy who is. Uh, who does not have his own what can i say um uh own rules or own uh like decision making uh, like uh, skills like everyone like everyone has this kind of uh, own like a person's own morals a person's own pride everyone has that uh, like everyone is able to make uh, decisions based on his or her own character and if something is happening which is going against his moral code or against his uh, like uh, that the way he or she thinks that yeah this should go but this is not happening he or she interjects or tries to stop it or if uh, like like even if they don't stop it but uh, don't uh, like try to interject they probably like turn their back around and like try to avoid that thing completely these are the things that happen but there are also people who kind of get swept like swept in the um, like flow like these people uh, do not have the like power to like make decisions for their own selves most probably because of their um, like how they are have, have grown from uh, that ch like childhood uh, their um, like I don't know like um, most probably like if he or she was like told to do things from her ch his or her childhood and uh, like only uh, followed those rules did nothing of his or her own uh, choice uh, a person like can grow up like that and that will like pose a problem later on and he would probably become a guy like krona and obviously krona did not have any choice he had to do each and everything that Merusa told him to do and um he is like he has grown up like that he like doesn't even know what to do like how to make a decision for his own self so if the person who has like kind of trained her like that uh, uh, try, uh, kind of trained him sorry like that comes in front of him obviously he won't be able to do anything he will like go back to her i'm talking about Medusa. go back to her and go like uh, like for i don't know like uh, for lack of his own um uh, decision making abilities he will like go and try to <coughs> go under medusa's umbrella continually unless and until he uh, like gets that confidence gets that strength uh, from within himself to stand up against medusa and like make his own decisions 
this will continue and i don't know how he is going to be able to do that so yeah let's let's see what happens and um <laughs> Okay, and that was that, and uh, the whole uh, Avon and uh, Death's uh, relationship, we don't know anything about. And Kit is kind of like snooping around, asking uh, Stein for everything. I don't know whether if Stein will say anything, like uh, dive, uh, like say anything about Avon uh, to Kit, but uh, he would probably find out sooner or later because he is like snooping around, all of like asking everyone trying to get some leads of this whole thing yeah and um <clears throat> and uh, there's a new character coming in the next episode i'm guessing and he looks kind of like a, i don't know yeah he looks suspicious <laughs> like closed eyes is a big um what can i say uh like like uh, it's a big question mark like whenever people uh, in especially in animes have this kind of like closed eyes they're usually pretty um suspicious and pretty strong so if if this guy is in uh, like our team like in the good guys team then he's a pretty good asset like uh, for example Mm, let me uh, let me think about any uh, kind of closed eyes guys yeah i can think of one guy um uh, if you guys know uh, like watched bleach uh, i'm talking about gin his name was gin wasn't it yeah the closed eyes guy so this is kind of technically a spoiler i don't know if you guys have not like there's there are people who have not watched bleach or not so yeah i don't know like this is kind of a spoiler so i'm like mentioning it now so like he was uh like he posed as a bad guy but he was actually a good guy so i'm like like uh so that is the thing that i'm talking about like if he is like uh, like if this guy is from like the good guys team then it's a good like um like a big uh advantage for them because closed eyes characters will be i know like there must be something about him so but if if he is against them i'm not sure but like shinigami principal is calling him so i'm hoping that he is uh, one of the good guys so yeah but we also don't know anything about the whole uh shinigami's past who knows but i doubt like shinigami is a bad character he is most probably a character who has some kind of hidden something but uh like overall he's a good guy must he must be something like that because obviously like if he's not a good guy then why did he like make this like huge school to, like uh help people uh not, not people like uh, help uh, the people to to like uh become like what can i say uh like train them and uh the whole thing with uh like gathering uh souls to make them uh a death site all of these things like that's Shibusen's main goal so yeah like if he is not a good guy then why would he do this who knows like um a lot of mysteries here and there so like i think like this is just my feeling that he is most probably a good guy with some kind of a bad past i'm talking about shinigami like he must be something like that. and he is most probably trying to change now or like is uh trying to do things better now i think it is it must be something like that so yeah <clears throat> and um what else like I, I i don't like i really want to like uh suspect shinigami because i really like him as a character like he is that kind of uh guy like op guy who is like all cool and everything and uh like a very calm and uh very uh, like happy goofy that kind of character so i really don't want to like what want him to be one of the bad characters like i really want him to keep like uh like continuing as a good guy and i'm sure that is the case must be some kind of like things that happened in his past that he is not comfortable telling everyone so that must be it who knows so yeah um this was episode number uh 37 wasn't it yeah 37 episode number 37 of soul eater so yeah uh if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed 
please be sure to do so comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about this episode anything of about the anime in general i'll be sure to check them out um so yeah uh, i'll be back with another uh, soul eater episode after one day so until then goodbye and have a nice day